How you doing, YouTube? Uh, this is a perspective from a Hispanic Latino. Um, I'm on my way to church right now, but I thought I'd make this quick video. Um, I seen the, the Hillary Rotten Clinton's uh, speech last night. You know, there's a lot of garbage on that woman that uh, a lot of people don't know about. A lot of Democrats don't know about. A lot of my family members don't know about. But they don't want to research because they're in denial. You know, uh, they don't know that, that Chelsea Clinton is not Bill Clinton's uh, uh, real father. You know, and if you're a Democrat, a liberal, you probably didn't know that neither. And you probably won't even believe it. But I got a, here's a picture. His name's Webster Hubble. And this is this is Chelsea Clinton's real father. You can look it up. Go on YouTube and and plug in Chelsea Clinton's real father. That his name's Webster Hubble. And uh, you can't deny it. It looks just like her. she had a she had a nose job and a mouth job done. Um so that so that uh to make her not look like him but that's that's just one thing that people don't know you did you probably didn't know that uh bill clinton has a half black son that he denied and he still denies it till this day uh so that family is rotten and if you're a christian uh i don't see how you could vote for that woman you know that woman is for abortion she's a baby killer if you she's she's for everything that 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 Jesus Christ is against and you you Christians out there you ought to be ashamed of yourself if you're going to vote for that woman you ought to be ashamed of yourself if you're going to vote for that woman last night I've never heard her say anything but last night she says she's a Methodist she's a Methodist yeah, and the only reason she says that is to get your to get you your vote, Christians to vote. But I don't understand. I can't. I, I can't see how you're a. Uh, you know the the what what is Christianity built on? What's the root of Christianity? The root of Christianity is from the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. If you believe, if you're a Christian, I don't care if you're a Catholic. That's the root of it. There would be no Catholicism if it wasn't for the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So if you're a true Christian, that's what you, that's what you have to believe. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That woman is not a Christian. That woman is working for the devil himself. There's a, there's a woman in the Bible that's evil, Jezebel. She's evil. She's in the Bible. That, that's what Hillary Clinton is. You know what? I'm tired. She said about, everything she said about Donald Trump last night was was taken out of context and lies. I mean, I was sitting there looking at her. I go, golly, man, I've never I, I know everything controversial about Donald Trump and what he has said and everything she said there totally taken out of context. So if you're a Christian, you better you better pray. You better get on your knees and you better pray. You better ask the Lord to forgive you for even thinking about voting for that, that rotten woman. She's a rotten, demonized, demon woman, man. You know, and they try to, you know, keep this in mind. Donald Trump did not steal your money. Donald Trump did not ra uh, raise taxes. Donald Trump did not quadruple the price of food. Trump is not stirring a race war. Trump did not leave any U.S. soldiers in Benghazi to be slaughtered and desecrated by Muslims. Trump did not send U.S. Navy to fight for Syrian Al-Qaeda. Trump did not arm ISIS and systematically exterminate Christians. He did not do that. And they're, they're, they're exterminating Christians throughout the Middle East. Trump did not be betray Israel. Obama did. 
Trump did not provide financing and technology to Iran's nuclear weapons program, that they went over there and did that horrible deal. Trump did not give our military secrets to China. Trump did not remove our nuclear missile shield. He didn't do any of that. He had nothing to do with any anything. Man, I just can't believe how everybody now it's all Donald Trump's fault. He didn't freaking uh, 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 shrivel down our military and betray our veterans. He didn't cripple our economy. He helped our economy by his businesses and employing thousands. Trump did not increase our debt to 20 trillion dollars man he did not do that and all everybody wants to blame trump he didn't ruin our credit twice our credit has been ruined twice he did not uh he did not double african-american uh unemployment he didn't do any of that our current administration did that he did not increase welfare to a record level for eight years. A record level for eight years. Half of, almost half of America is on freaking food stamps, man. He did not sign a law making it legal to execute and imprison Americans. He did not set free all of terrorists in Guantanamo Bay. Obama did that. And Trump did not steal your rights, man. That's why with this political correctness, First Amendment, let me tell you, it's out the door. If you Christians, you Christians, I'm talking to you Democratic, liberal Christians that are going to vote for this evil freaking woman, man. In the name of Jesus Christ, man, I, I rebuke you. I rebuke you for even thinking that. If you really are truly a believer in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that died for you and for your sins, get on your knees. Pray to the Lord. He's our great God and Savior. Pray to Him. And I guarantee you, He's going to tell you you can't vote for that woman. If you love your kids... You cannot vote for that woman. Don't you see what you're doing? Don't you see how all these scandals? It, it man, I, I ugh, it made my stomach sick to see her lying up there yesterday. So I'm asking you, I'm pleading with you, Christians out there, please don't vote for that woman, and 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 don't sit at home. Because if you sit at home, you're voting for her. You know what? You may not like the way Donald Trump talks. But let me tell you, put it this way. Let's say a nice person uh, that, that, that wasn't as brass as, uh, as, as Donald Trump were to say all that he's saying, but he said it in a nice tone, like the way you would like it. Like my mother likes it. My mom don't like me talking like the way that I talk. She says, mijo, stop, calm, you know, calm down, don't, you know, don't do it. But you know what? I get emotional and I get, I'm, I'm angry, man, how the world has changed. How our kids aren't going to have a future. And I start yelling, man. And I start getting angry on the inside. But you know what? That's why I'm making these videos. But can you just think, if a nice person were to say all the things that Trump said, but said it in a nice way. Because it, it's all the truth. Wouldn't you vote for that person? So don't don't uh, stay home and not vote for him. Give him an opportunity, just like we gave Barack Obama. I didn't, but people out there voted for him. I didn't even know who he was. He just came on the scene. Some guy, Barack Obama, senator, is going to run. I didn't know who he was, but I'm not. I, I'm not a Democrat because I know the way that they believe. I know they believe in a, abortion. I know they believe in in gay marriage. Uh, that they that and put into law 
they were, they wanted to change a marriage between that make it legal for a man to marry a man and a woman to marry a woman. I don't believe that. That goes against the Bible. You know, I believe you need to go to work. I believe you. If the Bible says if a man doesn't work, let him not eat. He's worse than an infidel. That's what the Bible says. So you lazy people out there that are getting a, a check from the government and you know darn well you could be working, but you want free money, shame on you. But I'm asking you to get on your knees and pray. Christians, this is for the Christians. That you think Hillary uh, is a good woman and an innocent, man. Uh, uh, her and her husband, man, they cheat, they've been cheating on each other ever since, ever since they got together, man. Bill Clinton, man, was sleeping last night. He was falling asleep. Either that or he was on freaking heroin. So take your choice. But I leave you with that. I leave you with that. I'm on my way to church. To, I'm going to repent for the way that I've been thinking. I'm going to go down. I was, Lord, help me. I need help in my, in my soul, in my mind. I need to re repent of the way that I am. Lord, create in me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within me. I know that I'm not right. But that's why I'm going to church. I'm going to go give God praise and I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for Donald Trump and I'm going to pray for every Christian out there to have a change of heart to vote for Donald Trump. It's either vote for Donald Trump Jesus is going to come and if, and and we want it we want life to be good while we're waiting for the Lord's return for the rapture of the church or if this woman gets in it's going to be we're going we're, we're going to pay for it until the Lord comes but it's not our little children's fault it's going to be up to the parents up to the adults.